There is something I never thought I would say. Kyrie was right. Kyrie was right about one thing. I'm talking about Kyrie Irving. He did a recent interview with ESPN, and one of the things he said is after he made his decision to leave, he didn't feel he owed LeBron James an explanation. And at that point, so much damage had been done, everything else. Truthfully, he's right. That talking at that point doesn't do you any good. So on that point, I got to admit, Kyrie was right. All right. It would have really helped before you make the decision, Kyrie, if you just sat down with LeBron James to try and see if you guys could work it out. That is always the thing that bothered me about this, that there were no discussions with Coach Tyron Lue, none with LeBron James, none with apparently uh, the general manager, be it David Griffin or later Kobe Altman. He just went in, had a meeting with Dan Gilbert, he and his agent, and said, we want out of here. That is one of those things where you look at and say, OK, three trips to the finals, one title. Before you make a major decision like this, you should talk to, quote, the decision makers or the top people to see, can we work this out? And it's almost like, and I really had this feeling about Kyrie, that he was concerned if he sat down with these people, they might talk him out of the decision or as he starts to explain, I've had this in my own life, you start to explain why you want to do something, and as the words come out of your mouth, go, this is making no sense. This is stupid. But I think he just wanted to make sure he didn't do that because he just wanted to get out and leave. So, okay, Kyrie, after the fact, you were right. You didn't have to talk. But as for the rest of it, in terms of how you approached your decision, how you handled it, when it was announced, even waiting until after the NBA draft, I'm sorry, you're only right briefly, and then after that, it was something that really needed a lot to be desired.